Planning to renovate your bathroom? Pay close attention. First, you need to measure and draft your existing space. Second, plan your works and make the space come to life long before you start smashing shit. Third, make it happen. Today, we focus on part one. To measure your space, you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil. If you're a little bougie like me, you can use an iPad combined with the Morfolio Trace app. Make sure you measure everything. You'll need to know the details when planning it out. Plaster to plaster, floor to ceiling. Window heights and window widths, door frames and door panels. Don't forget the center line of fixtures and the overall dimensions. Keep in mind where light switches and power points are too. You might need to relocate them later. When you're done, you should end up with something like this. Now that you have the existing information on paper, we can take this into ARCHICAD and draft our existing space. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. The first video of 2022 is definitely going to be an exciting one. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time. We're going to jump straight into ARCAD and start modeling our existing bathroom space. All right, so we have our ARCAD 25 template open and we're going to start modeling our bathroom. First of all, let's start by simply drawing the fill tool to actually be able to indicate where things need to go. Clicking to start our fill tool, I can start typing in 2150 tab button 1800 which makes the overall shape of my bathroom toilet next to it is 900 millimeters wide by again 1.8 meters long so if i indicate that there command d and move it over 110 millimeters for that partition wall i can see that is the foundation of my bathroom in total so now if we come across to our wall tool make sure we change our wall layer from walls external to walls internal and change to a 90 millimeter stud partition wall. We can then basically draw around the outside of our perimeter and create the overall shape of our bathroom relatively quickly. Now I can select both these by holding shift and pressing the delete button to be able to indicate the overall size and shape of my bathroom. Now if I highlight all of these walls, go command T, I can open them up and I can then change my story settings to not linked and change the overall ceiling height of 2.7 meters as we measured in the actual bathroom. Now clicking OK and going into our 3D object, we can see that we've started to create our bathroom itself. Obviously at the moment it's just walls, nothing special. So we'll come back into our ground floor, select them all, command T, and we're gonna override all of our surfaces with a white fine texture. So it is just white plasterboard. Coming back into our ground floor plan, I usually like to start with the doors and the windows. So we'll go to our door tool, go to door settings up the top. You can also press command T if you want. We're gonna start with our toilet door on the left hand side, which is simply a 620 wide door itself. It's a very basic door, there's nothing special about it, but I will quickly change the overall line type so it isn't orange straight to black. Pressing OK, I can then tuck that door hard up against the wall itself, and then holding the Alt button, I can simply drop that door randomly in the side to be able to open up the settings once more by pressing Command T. Searching for a pocket door up the top, I can use pocket door 25. I'm gonna make it just a very simple plain door. Coming into my nominal sizes, I'm gonna make that 820 wide and changing my leaf to 720 makes it the overall perfect size. So clicking OK, we have our pocket sliding door over here now. Now I think I've made an overall error in my calculation, so I've had to go back and double check the measurement. That isn't 2150, in fact, it is 3150, so that makes it a significantly bigger space than I originally thought and I can realign that door to 1140 minus which looks a lot more like what we have in the bathroom at the moment so it's very very important that you cross check all your dimensions and go back and cross check again if you ever think there is an uncertainty or any doubt in your design so far last but not least what we need is our window so if I come into my window tool at the top select my window type in sliding I can use my two sash sliding window for the time being. It's a single sliding window that we have and it is 970 wide, 540 wide with a sill height of 154 centimeters. Overall, same thing as the door, gonna change both those line weights to black and we are gonna place that into our bathroom right there. Now, if we come back into 3D, we will see that we've started to create the bathroom that we have right now as it stands. At the moment, all we have is some walls, some doors, 
So we're gonna come back in and start modeling the actual bathroom features. Before we go too far, I'm gonna control T on that door, go to model attributes up the top and change all of this to white. So if I paint everything titanium white, that'll be exactly like what's shown right now in the bathroom. I'll do the same thing for this swing door here and I'll change the window frame settings to match what's in the bathroom as well. And there we go, now we have three openings in this bathroom that allow us to continue creating and drafting our existing building. Coming back into the ground floor plan, pressing control down arrow, we can create our footings layer here, go minus 172 millimeters and click OK. If I right click on the ground and go show as trace reference, I can then simply select my slab tool and create a slab underneath that bathroom there. By clicking Control T or Command T, we can change it to a tiled top. So 100 structural concrete plus tiled finish and changing the top layer to tiles. Mat 150 by 150 is fine for the purposes of this. Coming back into 3D, we'll see that they're slightly floating a bit. So Command or Control D, lifting it up to the underside and now we have our tiles coming all the way into our bathroom. If we come back into our footings layer, press Control or Command up and use our marquee tool, select the darker lined marquee and then highlight everything but the two external walls. In this situation, I'm selecting these two. Right click, show marquee in 3D. We can get a bit more of a cut axonometric of what we're actually trying to achieve and look at so it makes it a bit easier to see inside. Going back to our ground floor plan, hitting escape a couple of times to get rid of that marquee space, we can start introducing our cabinetry. So if we come across to our object tool, go open object, we can type in vanity and our basin cabinet 25 will come up. So selecting basin cabinet 25, quickly overriding all of our lines so they go to black and we can actually understand what's going on. We can then change our dimensions to 1956 and overall height of 790. Now looking at this cabinetry, we're not too far off straight away. It's very similar to what we have in the bathroom but we'll continue working through the settings to be able to actually apply it as what we see. Now I'm gonna introduce that vanity into this space, Command D, perfectly into the corner where it sits. If I jump back to my 3D marquee now, we'll see that that vanity has been placed into our space and we are getting closer and closer to what is actually seen in the bathroom. Now if we also wanna introduce our mirror, all we have to do is Command D, Command once more, and Command T to open up our settings, type in mirror, Use our mirror 25, go rectangle. We don't want to frame whatsoever because we know it is frameless. And our mirror is the same width as our vanity overall, which means it is 190 millimeters wide and it is a total of 980 tall. So if I click OK, then we can relocate that perfectly above our vanity basin. Now we can focus on two more elements that are left in this bathroom, which is the shower and the toilet themselves. So let's start simply by going to object tool, object, typing in toilet, because it is one of the easiest objects to place in. Let's go water closet 25 and click OK straight away, dropping that into our space and centering it in the middle. So that is 900 wide, 450 centers it, gives us our toilet as we have it right now in that space. Finally, we want to come to our object tool, go object, come across to shower and use our shower cabin 25. Now we're not gonna to worry too much about all the shower details in this because we're gonna be demolishing it completely. So what we're gonna to have to do is change our overall dimensions here. It's one meter and 10 centimeters and one meter and nine centimeters. Because we have a, three, a 200 mil hob, we also change that in our shower tray settings to tray thickness 200, which for us is already conveniently set and pressing okay. So dropping that shower in, rotating Command E 90 degrees and dropping it into our shower now. If we then come across to our 3D marquee, we'll see that we've introduced our shower, which is the wrong way around. So coming back in, Command M, selecting the center, holding shift and mirroring that shower all the way. We will get our shower coming in properly. We are missing one last thing, which is a 200 millimeter upstand of tiles. So I'll quickly create a wall tool, use an internal wall, press command T to open up the settings, change it to a basic structural composition, change the overall wall settings to tiles, give it a 10 millimeter thickness and change the overall structure to tiles 150, 150 so it matches the wall. Then all we wanna do is make sure it is not linked, give it a 200 millimeter high overall size 
and ensure that we're drawing on the inside of our plasterboard as best as we can. So simply following all the way around, making sure we start and stop in the right places, our 200 millimeter upstand tile all the way around our bathroom. Now if we go back to our 3D marquee, we'll see that we haven't marqueed that extra 10 millimeters because it's offset off the wall. So we'll see our actual tile upstand come into play. If we were to go into a little bit more detail, we would also show the tiles in this shower cubicle as they are all the way to 2.1. So if we come back to our ground floor plan, use our tile here, holding the alt button to replicate the settings and drawing a line all the way around the side, we can select those two walls and go to 2.1 meters high. So now if we come back to our 3D, we'll see those tiles are all the way up to the top. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button and the subscribe button. And like always, I'll see you next Monday.